Hi everyone, this is Laurie for BeckyHiggins.com and today I'm going to show you how to add a single photo to multiple pockets. I have already started my layout. I'm using the Design A template. I have added some photos and some cards. Here in the middle I have four 3x4 three pockets and this is where I'm going to add my single picture so that it's spread out between these pockets. To do that, I need to merge all four of these three by four pockets onto one layer and create one single clipping mask. I'm going to go over here to my layers palette and I'm going to select my layers. I'm going to click down on the first one, then I'm going to hold my shift key and click the top one and you will see that all four of these layers are now selected. I'm going to right click and from this menu, I'm going to choose merge layers. Now you will see it is one single layer. Now I'm going to add my picture that I would like to spread out between these four pockets. I'm going to make sure that I have this new layer that I just created with all four pockets selected and go up to File and Open and navigate to the place where I have the picture that I would like to use and open it. With my Move tool selected, I'm going to click and drag it down to the layout now you'll see in the layers palette that my picture layer has come in right over the layer that I want to create a clipping mask with. To create a clipping mask, I'm going to hover on this line between my picture and my pockets. If I'm on a Mac, I'm going to hold down the Option key or the Alt key on a PC until I see this arrow and then I'm going to click down. You can also use a hotkey command to create a clipping mask. If you are on a PC, you can use Control, Alt, and G. If you are on a Mac, you can use Command, Option, and G. Now once you create your clipping mask, you will see now my single picture has been spread out between these four pockets, giving it a really unique look. I can increase the size of my picture so that it fills all of my pockets by clicking down on one of these transform handles and clicking and dragging out. And I can also kind of move the picture around so I can get it into place. When I'm happy with how it looks, I can click on the green check mark to commit. One thing that happened when I created this layer with all of those cards is I lost my drop shadow. That's an easy fix. All we have to do is we can go to one of these other pockets that has this FX label on it. That indicates that it has some sort of style on the layer. We are going to copy the style, which is a drop shadow, and paste it onto our new layer. So select one of these layers that has an FX by it, right click on it, choose copy layer style, click on your new layer, right click, and then choose paste layer style. And then you will see now we have that nice drop shadow added back in. You can go through the same process with any template and with any combination of the pockets. You just need to choose the pockets that you want and then merge them together over here in the layers palette. I will show you an example of another one that I did with a different template. This one is with the design P template and I just merged each one of these squares so that they were on one single layer over here in the layers palette and then I added my picture right on top. Now this doesn't work for every single picture. It's really dependent on what your picture is and what combination of squares that you have. So you just really have to play around with it to get the look that you want. If you have any questions, you can email us at digital at beckyhiggins.com.